Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So tonight's video is on fragrances that make me feel the sexiest out of my entire collection. So these are fragrances that I either like to wear on date nights or I like to wear when I want to get a little bit closer to him or I want him to get a little bit closer to me or they're perfumes that I wear if we're going out and I'm putting on a cute little dress and some high heels and I want to feel super attractive, super sexy. And after the dinner date is over or whatever, we're planning on going back to our place and having a little bit of alone time or intimate time together. And so these are the fragrances that make me feel the sexiest for those occasions. And sometimes they're ones I will wear actually out on the date. Other times they're ones I will put on when we get back home for those more close encounter type of situations. So I think it's really interesting seeing what other people wear for date nights, what other people think their partners find attractive on them. I love discovering new perfumes teams. Uh, for date nights and things like that so hopefully you guys find this a little bit interesting and we are going to start with the perfumes that make me feel I guess the least sexy and work our way to the most sexy so if this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for stopping by my name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk a lot about perfumes if that's something that you like to talk about and listen to then definitely head on down hit the subscribe button and with that out of the way let's get started in tonight's video Okay, so fragrance number one is Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge. Now this one definitely is a super sexy fragrance. It's a vanilla, iris, and cardamom fragrance. So it's a little bit spicy, a little bit woody, but not masculine at all. And it just has this kind of cold lipsticky vibe to it. It's kind of hard to describe. It's in this absolutely beautiful, stunning red bottle with all these facets on it. It was a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth every penny. It has decent lasting power. I wouldn't say it's a monster, but it's not weak either. And I am just obsessed with this perfume. I've loved it since the first day that I got it. And if I'm not mistaken, this perfume was designed with the idea in mind of like a cabaret. So it's supposed to conjure up the idea of a cabaret. So think red lipstick, super sexy dresses. And then it also has this little bit of a woody component to it. And my partner absolutely loves this perfume and it never fails to impress. I always feel like a million bucks and I always feel really, really sexy when I wear this perfume. The second fragrance is Olympia from Paco Rabanne. So this one wouldn't be the first one people would think of when they think of date night perfumes. This is more of like a summer perfume. It's a salty vanilla and it also has, I think, a little bit of ginger in it. So it kind of has like a fresh, spicy opening to it. It's a little bit sweet. It's kind of bold. It's a little bit in your face. I always tell people it's almost obnoxious in a sense. It's very loud but I absolutely love this one and this is one of my boyfriend's favorite perfumes on me. It smells just sort of very typical perfumey, but I also think it's kind of special and this one I blind purchased a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it. Still so much today as I did on day one and I still remember my boyfriend's reaction the first time I showed this to him. He went crazy for it and this is one that I like to wear for sort of day dates and dates in the summertime because it does have a little bit of that salty vanilla freshness to it and yeah, it's just a really delicious, sexy, bold, confident kind of fragrance. And yeah, this one would be second on my list. The next one is Armani Code Satin. So this one has sadly been discontinued, but this is one of my favorite perfumes. If you guys watch my channel, you know this. I actually have backups of this perfume because I love it so much and it is difficult to find. So if you can find it, I definitely recommend snagging a bottle while you can get it. This one is similar to the original Code. It has some of the same components. It has a little bit of this orange blossom shampoo-y component to it. But this one is a lot warmer and a little bit spicier. So it has a little bit of ginger in the opening. There's also vanilla and there's also cacao and praline in the base. And it almost to me smells like it could be incense-y, but there's no incense listed. But it is a very sweet, dark, rich, delicious version of the original code. I personally like it way better than the original code, although that one was really sexy too. But word on the street is that one has been reformulated and i do remember the original code was way better than the current armani code that you can find but yeah this one is just super indulgent it's incredibly sexy armani just knows how to make sexy perfumes so i love this one definitely one of my favorite perfumes to wear for date nights the next one is Givenchy Hot Couture, and this is the Eau de Parfum formulation, not the Eau de Toilette formulation. I've told you guys before that the EDT is a little bit too light for me and does not have very good lasting power, whereas the EDP is a lot more bold. And this is a really interesting fragrance because it's sweet and it kind of smells like raspberry, but it also kind of smells a little bit like 
ashy or smoky, sort of like you're sitting in a club or a bar or a lounge and there's people around who are smoking, but not in a dirty, kind of disgusting cigarette way. It smells very, very sexy. I think the reason this perfume makes me feel so sexy is because it really does have that feeling as though you've been out all night with your partner. Maybe you went for dinner and then you had a drink at a lounge or something, or maybe you were out on vacation and it was kind of like a night out, doing some sightseeing, walking around, and then you go back to the hotel room after and spend some intimate time together. It really does give you that sense of, I've been out all night, I've had a couple of drinks and I just came home and it's two in the morning and then you're gonna spend some alone time with your partner. That's just like how it feels. Um, and my boyfriend even described it the exact same way. He said that's exactly the air that it gives off and I love it. And it kind of has this grown, mature, smoky quality to it, but without smelling like gross smoky. So yeah, that's really all I can say about it. I love hot couture and it's definitely uh, a perfume that makes me feel super, super sexy when I wear it. The next one is Versace Crystal Noir. Now this one is also one of my boyfriend's favorite perfumes on me. Self-proclaimed, this is not like I wore it and I kind of guesstimated if he liked it. I actually asked him what he thought of it and he just about lost his mind when he smelled it. That's how much he loved it. And I do think this one is pretty popular with men just based on other reviews that I've seen as well. And this is kind of a dark, beachy scent. It almost has this coconutty smell to it. It's a little bit peppery. It's primarily a sandalwood fragrance, but it doesn't smell super woody or super masculine. There's actually violet and black fig in here. There's also a little bit of jasmine and frangipani, and I think that frangipani is where that beachy component comes in. It's a very unique, very interesting scent. I think it's probably one of the best done designer perfumes, one of the most unique designer perfumes. There's just something about it that is just super, super seductive. I don't know what it is exactly, um, but yeah, it's just an incredible scent and it does make me feel very dark and kind of standoffish almost but in a very sexy way whenever I wear it and my partner loves it so that is Versace Crystal Noir the Eau de Toilette formulation the third last one on my list and this one could easily have been number one but actually the final three could all be number one this is Alien from Mugler and this is one of my all-time favorite perfumes it's one that took me a really long time to get on board with when I first smelled it I actually hated it I was repulsed by it I thought it smelled so strong and so strange and I just did not like it at all and then I actually tried wearing it for a date night and that was what changed everything about this perfume for me. And ever since then, it has been sort of a designated sexy date night perfume. And I totally understood the power that comes with it. And I understood why people feel so sexy when they wear it. So Alien is a woody jasmine amber fragrance. It's a very unique scent. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it. It also kind of smells a little bit cold and standoffish. There's just something about it that makes me feel super empowered, super confident. I can't put my finger on it, but if you're a fan of Alien or if you've smelled Alien, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like I can do anything and it's just an incredible empowering super sexy scent and I think my boyfriend likes it he's never outwardly told me smelling it from the bottle that he liked it but when I've wore it I've gotten some really good reactions out of him <laughs> we'll just put it that way so that is alien from Mugler so this one is second from the top but this one and the number one spot are actually very very similar because they both have caramel in them and i probably could use them interchangeably but this one i absolutely love to wear when i am expecting to have sort of an intimate occasion or alone time with my partner and this is sol de janeiro shirosa 62 this is the body spray i always recommend that you could use either the perfume or the body spray are interchangeable they smell pretty much the same but the lasting power isn't much better with the perfume than it is with the body spray so that's why I have both so this one is a salted caramel pistachio fragrance it has kind of a beachy sunscreeny quality but without being super coconutty it doesn't smell like a sunscreen but it, it smells like a delicious irresistible girl at the beach and there's something about it that is just so sultry and so addictive and I still remember the first time I wore this around my partner the reaction was priceless he just went crazy for how my skin smelled when I had the this scent on it so this one I just cannot picture myself wearing it any other time I do reserve it definitely for date nights I just think it's too sexy to be worn any other time even though it's meant to be like a gourmand sort of beachy scent for me it has a place and that is date night so 100% recommend this one I think it's almost universal that most men go crazy for this scent and it makes me feel super super sexy when I wear it 
And finally, in our number one spot, we have again another fragrance that you can get for super inexpensive and it just does the trick every time. And I know that it gets a bit of a bad rap and people consider it to be sort of juvenile or young or cheap smelling or unsophisticated or whatever, but I really don't care because there is something about this fragrance that I absolutely love and it drives my partner wild. And this is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. So this is similar to the original Viva La Juicy, except this one isn't quite as floral. It's a little bit more heavy on that caramel note. So it's a very caramel heavy fragrance. It's very, very sweet, but there's something about it that is just super girly, super flirty super seductive I absolutely love it and like I said it's very very similar to Shirosa 62 in fact I think you could layer the two and it would be amazing but this one again doesn't have great lasting power it's not a perfume that I take seriously it's not a perfume that I would put on for a formal dinner or going out for a classy evening out or something it's definitely one I reserve only for those kind of like intimate occasions at home with my partner and it doesn't last for very long but you really don't need it to last for very long you just need it to last you for the evening it's not like something I would put on and wear it all day at work or something like that and yeah I just absolutely love it so even though it smells a little bit young not really sophisticated not complex very simple I've had it in my collection for so long gold couture from juicy couture and that is in my number one spot of fragrances that make me feel the sexiest so that was it for tonight's video you guys I hope that you enjoyed hearing my choices and I would love to know down below what perfume do you wear when you want to feel the sexiest or be the most attractive to your partner I'm always looking for new fragrances to discover for date nights and I think it's really interesting hearing what other people like to wear for date nights and I'll see you guys all very soon in my next video bye for now